Hi kiddies, if you're like me, you will love life hacks, you will love business hacks, you will love anything that saves you space, that saves you time, that saves you from fluffing about and helps you to get more things done. Uh, this is a little life hack that I've picked up. Thank you to Rula for showing me this one. Helps me out in the kitchen. She learned it from a friend of hers who's Japanese, a little bit of origami kitchen art. So if you're like me, you'll have many of these things in the kitchen little bags and often the bags take up a lot of space whether you use them for bin bags, whether you use them for doggy poop bags, whatever you use them for they can kind of take over your kitchen and often you get bags stuffed inside of other bags so I'll just excuse my head while it gets cut off so you can really focus on what's going on here get the bag here and they have a little inside corner that pokes in like that so you stick your finger in there, pull that down finger in there pull that down so you get a flat surface, put it down on the flat surface and then just fold over the level of that singlety bit, fold over there, fold over there, fold over there and you get this nice flat beautiful surface. The bottom edge you want to fold up to meet the side edge so actually like that and you end up with a 45 degree bit at the base. Fold up that bit then fold across there, fold across onto your fold each time and just alternate from side to side and then you end up wrapping this bit around there stuffing it in there and you end up with a flat little package that looks a little bit like something you get saved at a, at a Chinese restaurant but it takes up a lot less room and if you've got these, as I say, if you're using them for bin bags or if you're using them for doggy poop bags, it takes up a lot less room in your kitchen, it takes up a lot less room in your pocket, and they're always there, ready for when you want to have them. I'll just fold another one from the other side so you can see that after a while it gets quicker and easier, and you become quite good at it. And then when you want to use one, it's just a matter of pulling out the last two little singlety bits, give it a shake, and you're ready to use it for your bin or for your doggy poop. So thank you, Rula, for the tip, and please feel free to share with other people.